What's up, everyone? I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday so far. Thanks for joining us for this week's Wednesday Wisdom. You know, I just got to be honest. You know, these last two weeks have been heavy. Um, frankly, it, there's just been this reminder. Um, two weeks ago with, with Robbie and, you know, last weekend down here in Jacksonville, uh, there was a tragic incident where two people lost their lives and I believe nine or ten other folks got shot in a, in a mass shooting just downtown. Um, you know, I, I think if we're honest, this world is constantly reminding us of just how broken and dark um, it really is. And, and I know I'm guilty of it. Uh, I think we're all guilty of just allowing life to, to fall into a rhythm of work, of family, of friends, of just our usual daily lives and we lose sight sometimes of truly just how dark the world is until tragedy strikes, until something happens and, and we realize how quickly um, things can go wrongly. You know, we're so grateful for Robbie's condition continually improving, but you know what? He's got a long road ahead of him and we really don't know the extent. Um, of, of what's going on there and so if I could encourage you to continue to pray for him and his family and the medical personnel um, but at the end of the day um, this place is not our home we're here temporarily um, and for for those of us that have placed our hope and our trust and our faith in Jesus Christ there's a hope that we have that's beyond this world now you know, heaven is real, and, and that's something that we all get to get to experience as, as Christ followers. Um, but we still have our time here on earth, and, and our time isn't to be spent waiting on a heaven when we die. Our time is to be spent shining light in the darkness. And if there's anybody that knew about this the most, it was the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul could go into some incredibly dark places and shine the light of Jesus Christ and you know he writes about this he writes about the challenges that he's faced but he had something incredibly insightful that grabbed my attention this morning that I just wanted to share with you all it's in 2nd Corinthians 3 or I'm sorry 2nd Corinthians 4 where where Paul says let light shine out of darkness has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. You know, what he's saying is, we're nothing fancy. We're jars of clay. The treasure is what lies inside that jar. The treasure is in our hearts, that God's light is shown in our hearts. As a follower of Jesus Christ, you've been blessed with the Holy Spirit, and that Holy Spirit shines bright in this dark world. You know, he goes on to say, he goes on to say in, in 2 Corinthians 4, he says, We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. Now, I'm sure by now you've noticed that I'm sitting in front of the cross. Uh, this little prayer garden we have at my church and... That cross is always a reminder of two things. Two things, and that's how lost and broken our world really is and how awesome and amazing that our God is. That in a moment of darkness, in a moment of despair, in a moment when, you know, the disciples thought it's all over, God showed us his hope when he rose from the grave. And, and this is the hope that we have for this world is this right behind me, is this cross. Jesus is the only hope for our world. The hope's not in the government. The hope's not in our jobs. The hope is only in letting our light shine. Imagine a world when the church would get out and be the church. When if each and every one of us, billions of us worldwide, every single person that calls upon the name of Jesus Christ would go out in this world and just love someone. And so if I could encourage you today, the only combatant for the darkness in this world is allowing Christ's light to shine through your life. That can be in the smallest of ways. It can be in the biggest of ways. Remember, this isn't our home, but while we're here, there is a call to let our light shine in the darkness. Believe me, this world is desperate 
to see the light. This world is desperate for people to just love. Well, I hope this encourages you today, everybody. Have a great week. Can't wait to see you back next week. Hey, we got Portland coming up this weekend. It's the final race for the MRTI series. You know, we're, we're coming to a close this season. We got two races left. If I could encourage you, please pray for myself and for Chuck. Um, please, play, please pray boldly for opportunities for us as we cap off what has just been an incredible year of proclaiming God's light to the world. Everyone have a great week. See you next week.